Hello everybody. So right now I look at uh, some supercapacitor curve. You see the runtime of 25 minutes uh, and the voltage starts from 1.5 volts and drop to about 10, uh, I mean 0.10 volts in time of 25 minutes. Uh, the load was 30 milliamps and here we have this supercapacitor. So in basic uh, the electrodes, the positive electrodes is made from uh, some activated carbon and I add a little bit of carbon black for the conductive additive uh, the electrolyte which I use is a zinc sulfate, 2 mole of zinc sulfate and yeah, the negative electrode. The negative electrode is made from carbon black and this one. So this one is some silicon, so the silicon is some semiconductive, uh, semiconductor which is used a lot in electronics. Uh, for example, you will find some silicon in uh, processors, uh, also you will find this stuff in uh, solar panels and so on. So it's really really light wave uh, material and what is really really good on this silicon, you can use in some batteries. So with the silicon you will get much much higher capacity of the battery uh, instead of using some graphite so this one have a lot more capacity like some graphite uh, in basic what is the problem to use the silicon in your batteries is that when you charge the batteries this silicon will expand uh, the volume of itself uh, by 300 percent something like this but can store with with the silicon if you add some silicon powder to the batteries or the supercapacitor which I do with this one uh, you will get higher higher capacity so this this one I get from eBay some friend asked me if I can make some battery which use the silicon and yeah I will do exa exactly uh, what I say so first I try the supercapacitor so in basic if I use some standard uh, symmetric design which are the uh, positive and the negative electrode made from activated carbon I get half of this time which I get here around 10 minutes was the run time on some carbon carbon uh, design of supercapacitor but in this one uh, on the negative electrode I add a little bit of this stuff which is the silicon I crash it uh, to make a uh, powder and I add a little bit of uh, carbon black and I use for the negative active material uh, the weight which I use this one was 0 0.03 grams of this so it's really 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 tiny amount and I get 25 uh, minutes of runtime on 30 milliamps load when I use uh, like I said when I use carbon to carbon electrode uh, I get only 10 minutes so this was the supercapacitor I mean I use some silicon powder in the supercapacitor design now I will try to make some battery type uh, which I will replace the positive electrode with uh, manganese dioxide. So 
here I have uh, this positive electrode, which is made, uh, I mean, uh, the current collectors are made from uh, graphite foam. Uh, the positive active material was made from using carbon black, like uh, conductive additive, and the active material was in basic some manganese dioxide. So that's it. Uh, and now I will try to make some some negative active material. So this 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 device will be some hybrid between the battery and uh, the supercapacitor. You can also name this like some silicon battery or something like this. So in basic, you can also make some. Um, uh, silicon air battery. In this case, the activated carbon is the positive, silicon is the negative electrode. But in this case, you will get some problems uh, with the cycles. Uh, like I said, uh, the silicon expands uh, the volume of itself for 300% uh, and can easily uh, penetrate the separator. Uh, also, the voltage of silicon air batteries is something between 1 to 1.2 volts. So 1 volt to 1.2 volts you get with silicon air battery. But I will, like I said, I will try this combination with manganese dioxide and the positive electrode and some silicon, uh, silicon uh, powder on the negative electrode. So first of all, I need a new paper. Maji is also here and like always, uh, his best friend is the coach. So here I have new paper, which I will crash a little bit of uh, this silicon, like I said, you can find this one on eBay. Uh, and yeah, also, when you play with silicon, uh, it's better if you use some gloves, uh, some some mask because you don't want to breathe the particles of the silicon it's really hard yeah <sighs> okay Okay, I don't need this one. You need to make a really fine powder. <sighs> Out from this one. This will break really, really easily. You need to crash this silicone to make really fine powder. But it's not hard to crash it. This is my first try uh, to make this hybrid device. Uh, I make uh, several tests, I mean several cycles on this one, which was the separate uh, supercapacitor type. But this will be my first 
try to make a hybrid system. I mean hybrid uh, battery. Okay, to this one I will add a little bit of carbon black. Okay. And now you need to mix really, really well. Some drops of water. Oh, I need water. Okay, I think this will be enough. The current collector is graphite. Uh, graphite 4. So right now I have the negative electrode also the positive electrode what I need is a separator right now and again I will use the same uh, electrolyte which I use in uh, supercapacitor this is two molar of zinc sulfate okay Uh, the electrolyte I use toilet paper for the separator and on the top will come the positive electrode and now we have this hybrid device I will connect I will connect this uh, I will connect this to my multimeter, to my power supply and electronic load. The hybrid device is charging right now. I will leave it that this one will be fully charged and then I will connect to the uh, electronic load. So guys, uh, this one is fully charged and now we will see what we will get uh, from this setup like I said before this one I will try for the first time so I don't know what uh, what to expect from this one but yeah we will see that's why we are here and to trying things and so on okay the voltage drops to 1.8 volts which is not bad and now I will start So like I see here right now in this beginning the voltage is improved when we add some manganese dioxide uh, to the cell. Uh, when I try this supercapacitor setup uh, the voltage starts on, on 1.5 volts. Uh, this one you see the voltage of 1.6 1. 1. Uh, volts but yeah this is the voltage of uh, the electronic load so if we see on the multimeter we have almost 1.8 volts but yeah so the voltage drops really really nice so that's why we will see what we will uh, what we will get um, but 
Anyway, this silicone is uh, good to try. I think also you can make uh, some improvements to this system. Uh, also, you have really big room for research and also for developing stuff uh, based on silicon. So, guys, with this setup, um, I'm not really happy to be honest uh, because I get 22. Uh, 22 minutes of runtime. Uh, the curve you see is a little bit more like battery curve. Uh, but yeah, so like I said, this was my first time to try with this silicon. Uh, definitely, I will try a lot more to do with this one. Uh, so like i said i'm not really impressed with uh, this setup which was manganese dioxide on the positive and some silicon on the negative electrode uh, but i'm more impressed on this one so this was this super capacitor type uh, actually was activated carbon on the positive uh, and some silicon on the negative electrode and I get 25 minutes, I think. Uh, but the curve was like more like a super capacitor curve. Uh, this is a little bit, uh, looks like a little bit uh, like battery curve. But yeah, so yes to this super capacitor type. But I will say no to uh this hybrid right now so i will i will try more things to do with the silicon but yeah this was my first test uh how perform the silicon definitely i will try in another setups the standard combination of supercapacitor runs about 10 minutes uh, which was the setup of uh, carbon uh, activated carbon on positive and the negative electrode. So this is two times of improvement. If you add some, uh, if you add some uh, silicon, uh, which I get 25 minutes. But yeah, so I will keep experimenting with this stuff which is silicon and yeah we see us in the next video bye